Right, these big cutters, you need to turn the speed right down. So I've, I've set it down to its lowest level. All I'll do is turn it on and slowly turn it up, turn the speed up. And if you're not careful, it'll it'll vibrate. I can't do it. It'll vibrate. Wow. Like and if it vibrates too much, obviously it snaps and flies off. So you need to just turn it up, feel the vibrations, and you get to a point where it's just just a little bit scary. So back it off just a little bit. I might be able to turn up a bit. Finally here. Yeah. I need to get these cupboards out, get a 2v2 base on the floor. I want to get these tops level. So I'll get me I'll get my laser out, stack it on here somewhere, and then work from my highest point wherever that is. Then I can pack the rest up to that point. Right, I've got a socket there and a socket there. I've been asked to just cut a hole in the box where the socket should have been moved but anyway, let's get these strips up, these carpet strips. I don't know what it is about these. I don't think it's the floor, it's only a chipboard floor but trash. I don't know if you can see it. I've got my laser set up there. You can see the line on the wall. What I did was I'm just using a piece of corners that I made. I started there. No reason, just somewhere to start with. <coughs> you see that's that top mark there. Then I went around. That's lower. That's lower. That's lower. And when I came over here, I found the highest point here. So what I'll do is make some 2 by 2 bases. That's what's going to go on the bottom here. She only wants a thin strip at the bottom, you know, on the front rail. No skirting.
cut two together so even if you're a millimeter out you're a millimeter out on both you know they're exactly the same so when you come and make this frame up it'll be parallel square all that sort of thing uh, and if i can show you i need a, a width of 410 so put two together 410 there gives me 325 323 something like that so I've cut it a little bit long Now I'll cut to the line. Get the ends flush. Three pieces stuck to the same length. Right, I've got one frame, the other frame, 323 on there. I've just cut another three, and what I've done is just put pencil lines on the end because these might not exactly match those, so I'm going to keep them separate because these are a set. All the way up, 100mm screws. Right, I want the centre of this timber. We know that, let me show you, 900 is 450, so do it in twos. So 450, 460, 470, 480, 485. So 485 is centre. Four eighty five center. Four eighty five. So I do it anyway. Slight difference in timbers. That's better.
Oh, you see me pack it. That goes across the joint like that. So both that piece and that piece is supported. So when I come to do these ones, I'll do the same like that. And I've only put one screw in because by the time everything, all the weights on it, they're not going to go anywhere. And because I cut these all parallel, all the same, it should be parallel, square, all that sort of thing. You know, if this one was slightly longer than that one, then it would be, you know, out of square. But what I'll do is I'll fix the back down, but I won't fix the front down. So when I put my cabinet in, I've always got that little bit of play. Plus, if I don't get it level, exactly level, when I put my cabinet on, I can put my level on the top of the cabinet and I can lift this and pack it and then at a later date when I'm finally happy with it and I've screwed the cabinet to this and what have you, I can bang a couple of screws, you know, in the face there. Just got my big level out, put that against there, and I can see that I'm fairly parallel. But I put these clips, that one's holding it down, it's not going to go anywhere that one, but this one's got a bit of adjustment on it. So if I needed to, I could have brought that out. Right, so I've just got this back screwed down, got a couple of packers under there, packers under there. If I push that down, that's level. So we'll see what it looks like when I put the cabinet on it. Right, so the cabinet's just stood in place. That's not bad. Like I said, that bottom isn't fixed, so I can, you know, wiggle it up a little bit, slip my back in if I need to. But that socket's annoying me now. I'm going to put kettle on. Right, I'm going to get them to get the sparky to move that. There's a cellar below here, so hopefully I'll be able to get up. Sparky's problem. This side, that looks like a fuse for the fire. And there's an air vent. There's one at the top there as well. I'm guessing feeding the fire. So what I've done is cut a hole in the top of the cabinet. I'm going to put a vent on the inside. They did suggest putting holes in the cabinet, but it's just going to fill with. But the cabinet's just going to get filled with stuff. And I've cut a hole there. I'll put a nice patch on the other side, so that you've still got access to that, but it'll be covered with a with a neat patch. Let's see if I've got that in the right place. Right, so that's my vent. Like I say, I'm going to put a grill on it, cover of some kind. And it looks okay. Put little patches over it with some screws and screw cups on it so it can be taken off. I'll just leave it as it is. We'll see. That shelf will have to come in above that. And then there's going to be another shelf. Right, I think I can start fixing this in place. I'll get this plum, put a screw in there. This is a, a stud wall, plasterboard stud wall. I should be able to get one in there. A couple of screws down, and a screw into the wall up there. This is the most important one, though. This needs to run through. So I'll do this one first. Plus, it's easier to get a screw into the timber there. Uh, I've left this just a fraction forward so when I put this on this doesn't get in the way of me cabinet going right back here
Right. So I'll put a couple more screws in at a later date, but for now, I need to just have a look at that. Can't see it coming in where. And have a look at that. And that in relation to this, which ain't bad actually. But also, because you're working in a house, that needs to be parallel. do not have to be. But if that's out, it'll look a dog. Sometimes you've got to put things at a level to make them look right within the house. So I'll have a look at that. I'll move this cabinet out of the way. And have a look at that, see how it looks. And get a fixing in there, and get that plumb that way. slightly out it's just a cabinet that's slightly twisted slightly out of square near enough and this I've still got to put these screws in but that it's about right. Their wall in bad. Their walls out a little bit here. But my cabinet's plumb. So I'm going to put my cabinet in plumb. And I ignore that there might be a slight wedge there. All right, a couple of fixings. Get the faces on. And they took the big ass telly off the wall because they didn't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> 